Hello friends, welcome back to Urban Stack. Well, uh, today we are going to see how to troubleshoot a no boot scenario where the OS fails to boot with the stop code 7B. Okay, now if you have the stop code 7B and if there's 0xc34 in the second parameter, this means it failed, it means inaccessible boot device. Now, uh, since the OS could not load the drivers, could not load the control controller drivers, you know, of the bootable device, it failed to boot. These drivers could either be corrupt or missing or altered by some third-party drivers, right? And that is when the OS fails to boot with this error. Now, let's see how to troubleshoot. The first step is very obvious. You run check this on the volume where the Windows is installed. Okay, it may take time, some time, but wait. And if that doesn't work, jump on the next step. Okay, so the next step here is to boot your Windows into Windows recovery environment. Okay, so once that once you do that, all you have to do is to open the command prompt from the recovery environment and type regedit to open the registry. Okay, and post that I let you know how to load the hives and how to load the how to load the system hive. Okay, so that's the command prompt that you uh, will get in the Windows recovery environment. Type regedit. That's the registry screen. Okay, and select HKEY local machines from the registry and then click on the file menu, right? Click on load hive. Once you click on the load hive, you will be presented with the open dialog box. From the dialog box, navigate to the location where the hives are stored. So they are usually under C, Windows System 32, your config directory. Okay, in the config directory, load the hive, system hive, okay? Once that is done, uh, you need you will be back to the registry over here you need to expand the hive that you just loaded uh, i have loaded with the name test and i have expanded expanded the hive hk local machine test control set 001 control class and then look for the default upper and lower filter drivers under the class hive so the these are like part mgr ks thunk iranium mouse mouse class sc filter kbd class and most of them are found under the key that start with 4D36E. Okay. Uh, once that is done, go back to the registry. I mean, uh, look for these hives, and you will notice a third party or, or you know or some strange text along with these uh, filter drivers. Okay. These are the examples. Let's see here. Part MGR KBD class. In my case, there was a third party filter. Th th there was some entry next to the filter kvd class and the entry was stn typ this is something uh, with the semantic so what i have to do i double click that filter driver and i deleted that third party driver this is how you do it you go to that key you uh, select that upper filter driver double click kvd class that's that's the text that you see stn space typ open it hit backspace delete that text Hit OK, close the registry. Okay, once the registry is closed, then you can boot the unload the hive. Okay, once you close the registry, unload the hive, boot the register, boot the server as you do normally, and then wait for the server to boot. Okay, one thing here is to uh, confirm that you don't have to just check one of the data drivers. There are like six to seven. Check all of them. Look for any uh, third-party string if you see that, delete it, and that should take care of the issue, right? So I hope this helps to resolve the issue. If it does, please uh, do subscribe and hit like. Thank you again.